Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our weekly advice for the week beginning June 25th, 2018. Thank you very much for being here, thank you for joining me. Um, so what we're going to do is look at the different areas um, in our lives and what the main energy is for us there, um, using tarot cards as well as channeling messages for everyone watching. And then towards the end of the video, pulling additional cards, oracle cards for um, additional advice for each of the elements. Um, I would say watch the whole video, don't skip out to the additional advice because it may not make sense without the main content, okay, so to speak. Okay, so um, keeping in mind, take away the messages that make sense to you, that apply to you, that resonate with you, that strike a chord, um, and just disregard the rest because it may not be for you, all right? So let's have a look at what's going on here. So at the bottom of the deck as our overall energy or focus, we do have the hangman. So the hangman um, for this week, it can talk about things slowing down. It can talk about um, dealing with potential delays or changes in plans I hear that cause delays. Um, it can talk about um, important decisions that need to be made during this time. And so you need to uh, take some time to think about it, to contemplate, to look at your options. This is also not the time to be impulsive. Um, this is not the time to um, take big chances or just say yes without looking further into things to see what you're actually saying yes to. So with the hangman here, this is saying seek wisdom. And for others, this is saying you already have the wisdom. The wisdom is within you. I feel that for a lot of us, there may be an issue that we are um, looking to resolve or get answers to. And we're asking people around us or we're reading up on it or we're trying to um, get someone else to tell us what the right thing to do is or what the answer is. And then the hangman comes in to say, no, just, just stop that, okay? meditate take some time to just contemplate to just hear your own thoughts to hear your own intuition you already have the answer okay and i do get that for some this is about a love life decision uh do i go back or do i let them come back um on again off again relationships types of situations and the answer is you already know the answer um if you're wondering has this person changed can i trust them I feel that for the most part, you already know the answer to that in terms of you see the signs, you see the you know red flags, you see that there's there's still something there that they haven't changed, or or you basically see see that they haven't changed. Now for some, they're lying, and for others, they're trying, but they really haven't changed. And once you get back together, it will go back into old patterns. Okay, so just be careful with that. For others, this is about reaching um, like a stalemate type of point when it comes to career, what you do for a living, even your studies, even what you um, used to be passionate about. It's reaching a point where it's just stagnating and you're starting to question, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? Um, is this what is going to sustain me? Does this you know, still nourish me? Um, mind, body, soul, or financially and emotionally or spiritually and so on and so forth. So I feel that for some of us, we're either questioning some decisions we made in the past or we are contemplating making changes, a time of assessment either way, okay, when it comes to ourselves, okay. So let's see how this goes with the rest of the cards. The hangman there also talks about the fact that, especially if we work in groups or if we um, depend on other people to get what we want, okay, uh, we're at the point where we've done our part and now other people need to do theirs. The hangman there is saying, you've reached that point where there's nothing else you can do with it. Try to be patient, keep yourself busy with something else and don't stress over it. What will be will be try to release and just go with the flow, okay? Um, and I know that's easier said than done. So for career, finances, personal projects, education, your own business, we have the five of swords. So for some, it's this energy that's making you question your future with a company, your future with um, a school, a program, a group, okay, that is somehow connected to how you make money or how you plan to make money. The five of swords is an energy of um, bitter competition, uh, people kind of stabbing each other in the back just to get ahead. 
spiteful energy, uh, dealing with a bully, that could be your boss for some, it could be a, a coworker for others, it could be the group or kind of click kind of groups, okay, that you've tried to um, kind of be a part of and get along with because you have to work together, but the, the truth is you're just not the same type of people. Um, and I feel that you are reaching that point when you're saying, do I really wanna keep trying to fit in with these people when I know I'm just different. There's, we just don't have a lot in common. Um, but on top of that, you know, it's one of those situations where yes, you don't have anything in common, but there's no reason to be mean and there's no reason to um, be dismissive and disrespectful towards one another. And this is where things are, okay? For some, obviously it's not gonna apply to everyone. So just take it as it applies, if it applies to you. But for some, this is what is now getting you question your future there, okay? For others, I feel like this is talking about a bit of frustration where, again, going back to working with other people, you've done your job and then you're waiting for someone else to do theirs before you can move on, before you can submit something, before you can present something. And that person is intentionally stalling or intentionally just dragging things out just because it's how they control you or the situation or that's how they feel. A bit of a petty person, definitely a bully kind of individual, narcissistic person. Um, and with the hangman, that's where it comes in to say, you know what, you've done your best with this. Um, it will go where it goes. You cannot change this person. You cannot control this person. You cannot teach them that there's a better way. Look at your options. Look at what you want to do, okay? The hangman with the five of swords can also talk about clashes um, where people want to be right, okay? They don't care. They just don't care about anything else. They care about having the last word and being right. And someone might be pushing your buttons in that sense during this time. And with the hangman then there, this is saying, think about it. Is this really worth it? Because the five of swords tells you that this person is not gonna stop. They will do and say whatever they need to to have the final word, no matter the cost, okay? There's air sign energy around this, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that could be their sun sign, their moon sign, or their rising sign. But it's someone who is hurtful with their words. Um, with this energy. There is change. There is change. For some, this is a situation where you will be put in a situation where they tell you, okay, um, we can only keep two people on out of the five, six, ten, okay, that have been temping for us or applying or um, anything like that, okay? And they, their intent is for people to compete against each other, but I feel that some people are taking it too far. And that's where, again, the hangman comes in to say, do I really wanna do this? Is this job really that important to me? Is this how I wanna get that job? Is it worth it? Um, so I feel that there is energy of change, okay? And with some, it is one of them where things get so uncomfortable because you're supposed to leave because you're supposed to move on to other things because it's not for you, okay? There's something a lot better for you out there. So don't try to fit in uh, to a place or with a company or with a group if you don't feel like you fit in, okay? Um, and if it's uncomfortable, that's a sign of look around. There's better things for you. There are things that are for you. This may not be for you, okay? So don't be stubborn about, no, this is what I want. If you don't fit in there, then that is a sign of maybe that's not the place for you because there's something a lot better waiting for you around the corner or it's already around you, but you don't see it because you don't look for it. Okay, that sort of energy. Five of Swords is an energy of uncomfortable change. And with the hangman, there's, a, there's an energy of sacrifice, but we make that choice. We choose to say, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get involved in this kind of situation. I don't want to, you know, walk on bodies to build my way up in my careers. Um, in my career, I don't want to stab people in the back. I don't want to be in a place where I feel like I have to watch my back when it comes to my work. Okay, so I choose to bow out of the situation because I know that there's better things that I could be doing. Okay, so it's very much conscious change. Okay, for us. Um, so that's where the hangman comes in, okay? That's why it's not a bitter ending, like the Ten of Swords, for example. It's the hangman to say, you know what? I'm using my wisdom. I'm making the decision to let this go. 
I'm making the decision to step out of it, okay? Because I know that, that there's something better for me out there. I don't want this energy in my life of the Five of Swords. I don't want this energy in my life. So I'm going to look for what is for me. But that's our wisdom, and we're at peace with that decision. We're at peace with releasing people, jobs, situations that make us feel restricted, feel judged, feel criticized, feel like we have to, again, do less than ethical things to get ahead, okay? So changes are bound, but it's our choice. Okay, it's our choice to make those changes. It's our cho choice to step away from something into something new, different, better for us. All right, so we can be looking at applying to new jobs. We can be looking at uh, pulling out of an application process because it's going too far and they ha they're having people pitting, uh, pitted against each other. Um, that sort of energy, okay? But remember, change is change. And it's what we do with it that makes it good or bad. So if we're making the choices, if we're saying, you know what, I can see things are not settled when it comes to this area in my life. I am not happy. I'm not at peace. So things are not settled. There's already chaotic energy there. When we make the choice of saying, okay, I'll allow change to happen in my life. I want something else. Then that's fine. It puts us in a comfortable position where I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen next, but I know I don't want this. I know I want something different, so I'm going to go out and find it. As opposed to trying, really, really trying to fit into a box that is not meant for us. Okay? And then when whatever the changes happens, we feel overwhelmed and afraid and uncomfortable. All right? So hopefully you understand what I'm saying here. Um, right. For home, family, um, personal connection, social life, we have the Six of Swords. So for some, this can be arguments with family over money, arguments with family over who gets what inheritance, arguments with family over a family business and who does what within the family business, who gets what in the family business. This could be a family business that you inherit, the siblings, and then there's tension and arguments, okay? And then you're saying, you know what, I don't want this. I want to like my family. So if this is what this means, if we're going to be in business together, it, it means that we're going to hate each other. I don't want this. You can have it. You can have it. For some, this is over a car. This is over a house. This is over property, real estate, assets, money in general, okay? And you're saying, you know what? I want to like my family. I choose to like my family. So I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to be bitter like you. I'm not going to throw blows just because... I'm not going to do that with the hangman. I choose to like my family. I choose to want to see you. Okay. I choose to want to spend time with you. So I'm not going to talk about business. I'm not going to talk about career. I'm not going to talk about money. I want us to be a family, not competitors. For others of you, this is taking time away from family or a close friend that feels like family. Again, we have air sign energy again here, okay? Um, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and someone's bowing out. Now I get the sense that for the most part, this is you, okay? Where you're saying, you know what? This isn't worth it. I need some time, I need some space. There have been tensions, there, have been com there has been conflict, there have been uh, hurtful words said, maybe both ways. And you're taking a step back and seeing what it's doing to you, what it's doing to the relationship, to your connection, to your friendship. And so you're choosing to say, you know what, I'm going to take a break from this. Let's just cool off and come back when we have a clear head. Okay? For others, this is travel. This is visiting people and you're just taking time off work and that's where the hangman is. Um, this could also be um, moving, so taking time off because you're moving. Um, this could be this could be making peace. So the cycle of hey, let's take a break and come back to it when we have a clear head. This could be the end of that cycle, and now you're coming back together and you're talking things out because this is moving past the five of swords energy. This is making peace. It's also a number six, so it's about harmony, peace, love, healing. And so it's about, okay, let's let's talk. 
or you've been kind of talking on the phone or online and you're saying, okay, it's time to see each other now. We can see each other now. Um, for others, this can be arguments because of money within relationships. And so you may be saying, you know what, let's split up our accounts and then I can do whatever I want, you can do whatever you want. Or let's just take a break. Or, um, you know what, um, no, I work hard for this money and I am sharing it with you, but it's not okay for you to tell me what I can and cannot do with it. So it's seeing those red flags within relationships and I do get that this is a recurring, a recurring conflict, recurring conversation. Um, where someone has issues around money, fears around money, you don't, and they don't get that. And they're trying to control what you do, how you spend the money, where you should put the money, uh, what you should get, what you shouldn't, and, and so on and so forth. And I feel like that is telling you that, you know what, I don't think this relationship really has a future the way I did before, because this is a big thing and it's not going to go away. Okay? And I... I work hard for my money, so I deserve to do whatever I want with it, whatever makes me happy. For some, this is arguments over child support. You may be taking someone to court, um, or you're waiting for a decision because you have taken someone to court over child support, uh, spousal support, uh, compensation, something with damages, Something with damages. I don't know what you could take someone to court regarding damage. I don't know if there's a, a thing as emotional damage or someone's damaged your property. You took them to court. Now you're waiting for the decision. But this is something news or a change of heart or a change of mind um, that allows you to move on from a situation. Okay. Okay. For emotional life and love life, we have the King of Pentacles. So for some, this is that person trying to tell you how to spend your money. This is that person that they just like to have money or they just like to hold on to money or it makes them feel better if they have a lot of money in the bank. Um, definitely, they have a lot of fear surrounding money, okay? Um, and you don't have that, so that's where you're clashing. So this is Earth Sign Energy Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, Sun Moon or Rising Signs. And again, for some, that's what this is talking about, okay? That's where you clash, and that's why you're choosing to move out, or that's why you're asking them to move out, um, and that's why you're taking a break from each other, or that's why you're just breaking up, okay? You're just moving on. Um, but again, your choice, what you're sacrificing this week is your choice, because you see you're using your wisdom, and you see that that's the best thing to do, okay? Um, for others of you, for those of you, this is someone you've been talking to and things are stalling. Um, you're not sure why. Um, I feel that for some, this is someone who they are interested, but they are a lot more focused on work, success, career, money, and it may be a case of bad timing. You may come back to it at a later time, reconnect and then try again. For others, this is this is a case of dating the boss or dating someone at work, and that is what is causing the tension, the friction, the bitterness. Um, people saying you're getting unfair advantages and, and that sort of energy, that sort of issue. And for others, this is someone new coming in, um, but they move very, very slowly. You may not even be aware that they like you at this point. They're moving that slowly, okay? Earth signs tend to, to go about things that kind of a way. They like to take their time. They invest into a situation. They don't just jump in. They like to observe you first, learn more about you to see if you're kind of worth the effort, so to speak, worth the investment, and then they make a move. Then they tell you. Then they make it clear. So for some of you, I feel that you're watching this person thinking, okay, what's your intent here? Because I'm not getting it. You should have said something by now. You should have done something by now. But the truth is they just move very slowly. Um, and that the other way around, they're looking at you, kind of assessing, should they make a move? Should they keep waiting? So it's a bit of a slow start with this energy. Um, if you want to follow through with this, then the message is 
okay, take it easy, take it slow, give this person time to do what they need to do. They have a certain way of going about things when it comes to love life and who they invest in. The good news with this is once they decide that yes, they want you, yes, you're worthy of time, energy, effort for them to put into, then they stick around and they make it work and it, they invest in the relationship. It grows, it develops very naturally, very beautifully. Um, it just takes a lot of time. Inconsistency, okay? For some, that's you. Okay, so for some, you're thinking, should I say something, should I do something? Maybe you're thinking that someone's about to think that you're not interested. And so now you're thinking that you're feeling a little bit pressure, like, okay, should I, should I, I don't feel like I'm ready, I don't feel like I'm sure, this is what I want, but I feel like they're gonna walk away. So for some, you're contemplating, should I, shouldn't I say something? Um, in existing relationships, some of them anyway, the, 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 this is what comes up, okay? With the King of Pentacles here, I feel that this is a time, okay, so for some I hear honeymoon, for others I hear buying a house, your first home, um, for others this is planning for a family, um, to, or to expand the family and you're looking at planning that, okay, financially and time-wise and where you want to be with your jobs when you do that. Um, but it is a time of stability and planning, okay, planning. It's still a happy time, okay. When it comes to the challenge in the week, so when it comes to the challenge in the week, we have the Hierophant. So again, uh, restriction. Uh, control, uh, tradition, or what someone thinks is traditional, um, what should be done, what someone thinks should and shouldn't be done, issues around family um, with this energy, someone wanting you to conform, that's the challenge. For others, it's this Taurus individual that keeps trying to come, come back, uh, or that is telling you who is telling you what to do, what not to do when it comes to your time, your money, your resources. Okay, and that's the challenge. Um, so the challenge is to think about it, to um, assess. This is what they're telling me I should be doing. Is that true for me? This is what they think I should say, think, buy, feel. Is that true for me? It's about not just giving someone your power because they're bullying you almost, because they're pressuring you, because they're, they're saying, no, this is what everyone does. You're different. You're just trying to be spiteful. And that's why you're not doing what I'm telling you. No, it's your life. You do what you want. And that's not being spiteful. That's just being fair. It's your life. And they just need to learn how to respect that. But they're having trouble with that. They're the type of person who um, they're used to saying something with enough conviction and enough times. It's like the Chinese drop, Chinese water drop. Say it once, twice, three times, fifth. 50 times, 100 times. In the end, they're used to people giving in. They're used to winning. That's your challenge in the week, to see if you want to engage with this person. So for some, this is over an engagement as well. Um, and again, the message is take time. Think, don't just say yes. Don't just jump in. Pay attention, use your wisdom. You see the red flags, they're there, they're not gonna go away. Okay, so that's your challenge. For others of you, the challenge is working for a big company, for a big corporation. The challenge is the company culture, how they, they do things. The challenge is a group getting you to, to, trying to get you to conform. The challenge is someone, a group of people trying to knock you down, hold you back. Again, your challenge is Look at it. Is that true for you? Is that fair? Are you okay with that? Or are there other options? What do you want to do? You have the wisdom. You decide. Don't conform. That's your challenge. Don't just conform. You decide. Whatever you decide, people are just going to have to make their peace with it. As long as you're happy, that's what matters. Okay? When it comes to 
your life, what makes you happy. Only you know that. No one else can tell you, you should be happy with this and you should stop trying to do that to be happy. See how the color changes? <laughs> that means pay attention. That means yes, pay attention. I didn't do anything to the camera. <laughs> it's just the light hitting it differently. Um, but yeah, when you deliver a message and there's a change in lighting or there is a sound going off, that means, okay, pay attention, lights flashing, pay attention, listen, okay? So the challenge is don't just conform, don't just say yes, don't let people pressure you. Don't let people rush you. Don't let people put um, tradition behind something. Oh, this is how everyone does it. This is how everyone has been doing it for hundreds of years. You have to. Is that true for me? Or do I choose to not get involved with that? There's a choice, okay? There's a choice where you are at the forefront of something. It's like a door opening to you and you get to choose do you step through that door or do you stay where you are and then just turn sideways and look for other possibilities think meditate pray on it take time because it's almost like there's gonna be people or situations or groups or family or whatever they're going to try to convince you. This is what you're doing. This is what, what do you mean? What, what do you need time for? What do you need to think about? This is what you're doing. Everyone's doing this. That's what you're doing too. You're not that different. You're not that special. Get over it. Get over yourself. The bully kind of energy. The narcissistic kind of energy. The hangman. You see the hangman? He's not disturbed. He sees it. Doesn't phase him. That's where we need to be this week. That's the best attitude to have this week. Observe, don't react, observe, think, and then decide what you want to do. Then take action. But it's not gonna be a reaction to someone's pressure, to someone's bullying, to someone's whatever. Okay, observe contemplate, don't react, think, decide, and then take action. Okay? Also, if anyone is trying to rush you, slow things down to the point where you know exactly what's happening. It's like a magic trick where someone's trying to, you know, flash things in front of your eyes, distract your attention. It's like a magic trick. Slow things down, okay, pause it, rewind, watch it in slow motion, and you'll see exactly what's going on. That's what we need to do this week, okay? So, additional advice for earth signs. Yeah, so for earth signs, this is a new deck. It is called, it's a beautiful deck. The Secrets of the Mystic Grove, artwork by Mary Elaine Thomas and written by Arwen Lynch. It is a gorgeous deck. I saw it on um, someone I follow on Instagram, Tarot Sarah, I think it is. Hi Sarah, if you're watching. Um, and it was it was just amazing. I bought it in two minutes. Okay, so that's it's like this is it. This is for you. Get it. I bought it. I did it. I listen. I don't question. The guidance I'm getting, I just, okay, that's what I'm doing, good. So, for earth signs, we have number seven, trust, and this is about overcoming fear, intentions, and having faith. Look at that, it's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. And with the Hierophant in the challenge position, that is also about having faith. The Hierophant also represents faith. So for some, the challenge is having faith that what you are sacrificing is for your highest good, okay? The, the choice that you're making is for your highest good. The, the challenge is trusting your own wisdom, your own intuition, trusting that you can make your own decisions, 
okay? Trusting that choosing peace, your peace of mind, is really for your highest good. And no matter what you have to sacrifice for that, trust that that's the right thing. You'll feel it in your bones, okay? Overcoming fear, the fear that people create, the fear that people put in your mind. You have to do this, otherwise, that's it, you're done. You have to do this, otherwise, you know, you'll never find work again. You have to do this, otherwise, you're going to get fired. You have to play along. You have to do what everyone else is doing, otherwise, everyone's just going to hate you. You have to, you have to, you have to. Overcoming the fear. Again, thinking, is that true for me? And even if that were the case, would that be the end of the world for me? Trust is also a card that talks about trying. No change can happen without sacrifice. You have to try to see where it takes you. Whatever you need to change to do that, that's what you need to change to do that. Trust that that's going to work out for you and try. Put yourself out there. Take a step. Believe in yourself. Believe in your truth. Number seven is a, is a, a number of truth, of speaking truth, receiving truth, looking for the truth. Boundaries, healthy boundaries. Okay? Because it's... See... Again, going back to that door opening, and you get to choose if you want to walk through it or not. So here, you have this lady, this young woman, offering that tiger something like a strawberry or a berry. And they kind of have to trust each other to learn about each other. So the tiger needs to trust that she doesn't intend to hurt him, to um, taste or at least kind of smell the berry, see what it is. And then she needs to trust that the tiger's not going to hurt her when she puts herself out there. But they have to try and see where that takes them. So it's the same thing. Something will be offered to you, but you get to choose. Do you take it or do you not take it? If you don't trust someone trying to offer you something, if you don't trust that person, believe it. Believe it. Always ask yourself, what are their intentions? What are my intentions? And is the circumstance I'm in fulfilling that purpose, goal, hope? And if you do need to make sacrifices, believe in yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt that that's the right thing to do. Overcome any fear that people may be trying to plant inside your head. You know your truth. This is a time to trust your truth. Okay? For air signs, we have ask. Number three, launch, soar, request. So with this energy, for some of you, this is asking for guidance, asking for answers. And again, it's going back to contemplate. You already know the answers. With air signs, this is where you just want to be sure. You want to get the facts. You want to get the truth. You want the numbers to add up. You want to be sure before you say yes or no. And that research takes a long, a long, <laughs> a long time. You want to be double sure. So you come to a conclusion. You come to an answer. Then you say, mm, I didn't check that though. So you just go back into it. That's costing you time when you already know the answer. Ask yourself is the message here. You already know the answer. For some, this is about people asking things of you. And they may be nice at first. Oh, you're my friend or you're my brother, sister, cousin, parent. Kind of have to, you know. When you say no, they may turn bitter and then try to pressure you try to bully you, try to guilt you. But again, observe, 
Don't react. Don't let it phase you. You know your truth. You know what's right for you. You know you have your wisdom. For some, this is about sometimes silence is the best answer. Not saying anything is the best thing you can do in a situation. For others, this is about ignoring someone because you know what they're about. You know exactly what they're about. They have not changed. And there's a lion in the card, so that makes me think of Leo as well as Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the bird. Because she, she is in contemplation. She's in a peaceful state. And then she receives that message. And so she's thinking, what do I want to reply? What do I want to send back? Sometimes it's sending back a firm no, and sometimes it's not saying anything. Because it still opens up the door of communication, which is what they want to begin with. Then they can play on your emotion, then they can play on your, your mind and guilt you and so on and so forth. So maybe it's best not to just to just not give them the chance at all. For others, this is about ask for answers, ask for um, talk to someone with the expertise. Don't talk to your peers, I want to say. Don't talk to people who guess just as much as you do. Talk to someone in the know. For some, I feel like there may be um, hesitation over paying someone for their expertise. Do I really need to go to that broker about my mortgage? Do I really need to pay this fee you know, for this attorney? And the message is pay the professional what they're worth, what they deserve. And also you've come to the point where what you could do, you've done, but maybe you need a specialist Maybe you need someone with expertise, proper expertise to step in and take it further for you. And it's okay to invest in that. Okay, do your research, find the one that's best for you. But sometimes you do need to invest, make, um, spend money to make money. So for some, you're paying for a class, school, and it's like accepting, okay, I don't have all the answers. Okay. Um, I will have to study this. I will have to look into this. I will pay that person for their knowledge, that class, that course, going back to school, okay? And it's also an energy of, don't be afraid to ask for help if you're stuck. Don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? For water signs, for water signs, we have 34 community, contribute, communication, tribe. So for some, you're changing your circles of friends, of people you uh, look up to, of people you want to learn more about, of people who motivate you, inspire you. You're changing groups, okay? You're leaving a group you've outgrown and you're stepping into a new group. There's still people with you there, but you're just going in the same direction. That's the difference. People you call your tribe means like-minded people. Okay. Uh, people who understand you without you having to explain yourself that much. Okay. Um, and you're changing groups. For others, this is about, because 34 adds up to a 7 as well, this is about communicating your truth, saying enough is enough, saying that is not okay, I see what you're doing, I know what you're doing, I'm not going to do the same, but just know, I know exactly what you're doing, and it's not okay, but you're not going to knock me down, you're not going to bring me to your level. I just wanted you to know so that you stop trying to pretend. Okay, so for some, it is about that kind of conversation this week. Um, for others, this is about working together with other people. It is about group work, group activities, and there may be tension there. So we've already um, touched upon that energy in the very beginning. 
And this is about using your wisdom. Using your wisdom. What's the best way to deal with these people? Sometimes it's just to say, do your part, make sure that you kind of keep a paper trail. But then if it does go south and people come at you, you can say, you know what? This is what I've done. I've done my part. They didn't do there, so this is not on me. Don't try to pin it on me. I can prove that I've done my part. And just move on. It is about conforming. It is about getting with the program and people trying to get you to do that. People trying to get you to stay in a group, in a position, in a company. Okay. And again, the challenge is you've made up your mind. You have made a decision. And the challenge is stay true to you. Don't allow other people to pressure you into changing your mind over something that you've already decided upon. It is what you want to do. It is what makes you happy. So just speak that truth with compassion, with diplomacy. But let them know this far. Stop trying to convince me. It is not happening. I do not negotiate. I'm not willing to listen. Anything you have to say. I'm not going to change my mind. Don't waste your time, please. Okay? Good news is that even though that is happening, you are stepping into a new direction, finding a new tribe, a proper tribe, <laughs> okay? Of people you do get along with. It's easy to, to communicate. You inspire each other. This is also about uh, collaborations this week on a project, on a business, on a paper. And you're learning about each other. You're researching what you're trying to say, what you're going to do. And then you're working together very, very nicely. So a new success okay, that comes from working together with other people who want the same things you do. For the fire signs, <laughs> we have council number 18, group, meeting, advisors. So again, maybe difficulties with groups of people, maybe looking for the best way to handle them, getting some advice. Okay, this is also um, showing up before a high council or showing up before a court uh, or judge, um, an authority who gets to decide something. Um, so maybe that's where the court things come uh, come in, okay, for you in particular. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm sorry if I didn't mention that. So earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if you don't know already. Um, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is about seeking counsel. This is about taking things higher, taking things to the high court, taking things to the highest authority, because you know what is right, and you know that it's out of your hands, but you can take it to the right hands, okay, for them to decide. Um, good news when it comes to that, decisions over things that you were wronged with, settlements, that sort of thing. Um, for others, important meetings. For some, you're preparing for an important meeting. You're preparing for interviews. You're preparing for a meeting where you will collaborate with someone, and so you're trying to pitch something to them. Meeting with investors um, happening during this time. Again, the message is take your time and do it right. They will see if you rush it. They will see if you haven't thought things through. They will ask you very pertinent questions, very to the point. So take your time and be comfortable with your material. And they'll appreciate that. You'll get what you want. This is also, one plus eight is a nine, so that's completion. So again, talking about endings, things coming full circle, it's a natural ending, okay? It's natural that things come to an end in order for you to start something new. The end of 
a court situation, graduation for some of a, a class, a program, training course, the end of um, temping becoming permanent, the end of looking for a job, getting a job, the end of a job because you're getting a better job. And for some, this is you going into teaching. And you have, you know, a number of things that you have to do. It's very strict. So that's where the conforming bit comes in. That may be a bit of a challenge and things may take a long time, but it is what you need to do. So if you decide that that's what you want, then it's not going to be so bad because you understand this is what I want. It's going to take time. I'm okay with that. I've made my peace with it. I'll just do what I need to. Okay. But this is also being welcomed into a new group, being welcomed into a new company, being welcomed into a new family for some, being welcomed back into the family for others, reconnecting, making peace. Studies, school, training, listening to someone who knows what they're talking about, so again, the expertise. Mediation, so maybe you're studying that or um, this is someone stepping in to help mediate a situation or maybe that's you, okay? But very significant meetings during this time for you. So make the most of them. Be true to you. Be authentic because the people you're meeting, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for someone who is comfortable with who they are, who is confident, who believes in themselves because that's when they believe in you as well. If you're shy, if you're holding yourself back, if you're overthinking things, there may be missed opportunity there. So this is a little bit of a heads up. Take some time, get comfortable with your material, get comfortable with what you um, are believing, what you, what you believe in, what you wanna do, what you wanna say because you will have opportunity to tell that to another person who is in a position to help you get there, if that makes sense, okay? So that is our reading for the week. Um, let me know, let me know how messages apply, if they do, where they apply for you. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for all your beautiful support. Um, stay tuned for monthlies, I will get them posted. I'm working on them. Um, I will have to keep the videos shorter um, in order to keep them up. I'm trying to find um, a, a schedule or a pattern um, that I can uh, stick to no matter what changes are going on in my life. Um, so I'm going to try to keep them short because maybe that will be easier for me to just keep up with going forward. Okay. Um, and there's a lot more exciting stuff coming up, but I'll save it for I'll give myself maybe another week to get things prepared and then bring it to you, okay? So stay tuned. Um, but thank you once again for all your beautiful support. I'm here. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. I've got my blog where I write articles. So if you want to connect with me, if you want to follow my work, there's lots of different things you can do with that. And thank you very much for all your support with that as well. Um, let's have an absolutely fantastic week. And I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye for now.